This is my Blasian story. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I finally got it together and I'm ready to tell my story. Now, my story's a little different, so because of that, I'm not going to answer the set group of questions that come with this tag. I'm just going to tell the story, and I think I'll probably cover all those points anyway. Now, I was born of a Korean woman and an African American man who was stationed in Korea. Uh, he was a soldier in the United States Army. I was born in 1956, so he was there around that time. And I was a very healthy baby. But that's pretty much all I know about my Korean mother and my soldier father because I was adopted when I was three years old and brought to the United States by my real mother and father. <laughs> the mother and father that the universe intended for me to have. Now, my parents brought me here to Los Angeles and raised me and sent me to church every Sunday, put me in the Girl Scouts, gave me piano lessons and tap dancing lessons and a sweet 16 party. But most important of all, they gave me a whole bunch of love. Oh, yes, I was blessed. Now, being biracial back then in the 60s and 70s and all that didn't have all that much of an effect in my life because, number one, people could look at me and know that I was a result of the Korean conflict. They knew my story already. And number two, I wasn't alone. There were a bunch of half Korean, half black kids in my neighborhood. When I looked in the mirror, I saw a Diana Ross wannabe <laughs> or a Lola Falana wannabe, okay? I didn't see a little mix, quote unquote, half Asian girl. I saw a black girl. Whenever that question came up about my ethnicity or what was I, you know, uh, I always said I was black. I'm I'm black. But aren't you mixed with something? Um, well, yeah. I was born in Korea. My parents adopted me. My parent, my mother was Korean. My father was an American soldier there, and my parents adopted me. Do you ever want to find your real parents? Already know who my real parents are. No, you know what I mean. You know, and I understand that question, okay? I really do. But, no. I've never really been curious because I think I know their story. I regret having no Korean influence and not knowing about the Korean culture or the language. Well, it would have been nice. There are nice things about the Korean culture, but I guess you can't miss something you've never had. And since I grew up in such a rich culture, a uh, very emulated and admired culture, and that's the African American culture, well, I never lacked for anything. I regret nothing. I accept my life story and my journey had nothing to do with it. it was, I made no decisions about it, but I have nothing but gratitude to my mother for picking me to be her daughter. I'm going to tell the rest of my story, the rest of my Blasian story, the real significance of my Blasian story, and how it was the first foreign adoption ever made by Americans, and how African Americans played a huge part in that. I dedicate this video to my mother my way of saying to the universe, thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you for my mother. My lovely, 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 lovely mother. I love you. I thank God for you. I thank the universe for you. And I also want to say to that unknown Korean woman out there who might be in her 70s around about now, I want to say thank you to you as well. Thank you for taking care of me and for giving me life. 